We are in the waters right off of Peaks Island, and I am here with Joe DuPont, and he is the kayak expert of the area, one of the owners of Maine Island Kayak Maine Company. Island Kayak Company. They give guided tours uh, to all the islands, yes? Yep. But today we're going to do one uh, just around Peaks, and uh, he, you have been living on Peaks since 2000, mm -hmm. and you are an expert in this, yes? I don't like to brag. Oh, he doesn't like to brag, but come on. Tell I've him. been doing it for a while. And so where are you taking me? We're going to go over to the island just to the south of us. It's called Cushing Island. Cushing is a private island, uh, but it's got some beautiful undeveloped coastline that just, it's just spectacular. <laughs> These are your home waters now. These are my home waters. Tell me what we're looking at up there. Those are the cliffs of Cushing Island. Uh, there was a guy named Ezekiel Cushing back in, I think, the 1700s who kind of did an early form of conservation easement out here. If you go around the corner, there's no development out there. It's a very rare place in Casco Bay to see the ocean side face of an island with no houses. No houses at all. Just, you might be able to see the World War II era submarine spotting tower up at the top of the cliffs. That's all the development you'll see on this side of the island. Further in, um, it, it becomes a kind of an exclusive summer colony. Right. So World War II spotting tower, I wouldn't call it really development, really, right? <laughs> it's a ruin now, pretty much, right? <laughs> and so when you give the guided tours, you give a little history too, yes? Sure, that's part of the fun. The area that we're in right now, this body of water is called Whitehead Passage, and it had submarine nets strung up all across it. There was a battery over on Peaks and a couple of other towers. Apparently, there were a lot of German U-boats in the area. You're kidding. Yep. So do you give guides every day in the summer? Yeah, as the business has gotten a little bit bigger, I do a little more back-end stuff, but I like to get out on the water once a day, seven days a week. Yep. Once a day, seven days a week. That's a nice way to live. Yep. And so where, um, what islands do you do? All of them? All of them. One of the things we like to do, and we've got most of our guides out doing it now, are overnight, and that's out on some of the islands out on the open ocean that way. Oh, really? Yep. So you uh, you camp out there? Yep. People you bring camp, their camping I tend gear? to make the food and wash the bottles. Oh, yeah. And so how about your certifications? You were telling me you had some some rigorous kayak certifications. <laughs> I'm part of the British Canoe Union, which is... Uh, British, ca British, British Canoe, Canoe Union. Union. Which is the counterpart of the American Canoe Association. Yes. Um, I'm a coach, as well as what they call a star paddler. I'm a four-star paddler, which means uh, an ocean leader. So you've taken on some pretty big waves in your day. You know, it's not the size of the waves okay. that matters. It's the period, the duration between them. I've been out in 15-foot really? season and very comfortable. Really? I've been out in three-foot season, said kayaking is not for me anymore, ever. Really? Yep. When they're close together and steep, that's a big deal. Oh, sort of more like moguls when you're when you're uh -huh. skiing, yes? So, Joe, I noticed the uh, eelgrass when we came in. Mm -hmm. Yep, eelgrass is a pain in the butt to swim in. You only find it at low tide, but it is a sign of really clean water. We get 10-foot-plus tides coming through here every day. It's just whatever. Whatever's in the water goes right in and out, so it keeps it nice and clean here, which is a great thing about Maine. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. water. A little cold. Joe DuPont from Maine. Island Kayak. Give them your website, so in case they come to Maine and they want a kayak guide, they'll know where to go. Thank you, yeah, that's MaineIslandKayak.com, and Maine is spelt like the state. Let's enjoy the rest of this night. What do you say, Joe? All right, let's do it.